Hello everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be showing all of you how to make miniature iPhone 12 Pros. The new iPhone 12 Pro just came out and I thought it'd be super cool to try to recreate them in doll size. So if you guys want to figure out how to do that, make sure to keep on watching. So the first thing I do is print off the little phone printable and I did make a printable for this and if you guys want to find it you can just click the link in my description I'm finally making printables now and I'm super excited about it I definitely want to make more in the future but if you guys want to print this off make sure to just click the link in the description and then you should be able to just print the photo I know I didn't make the biggest variety or selection but I just didn't really have the time and I hope you guys like what I came up with here basically I have the white iPhone 12 Pro and the navy blue one and I have kind of like the default screen it comes with and then one that I actually have for my own phone. And because the iOS 14 included all of these cool widgets and stuff, I thought that'd be kind of cool to include on the screens for these phones. So basically the first thing I'm gonna do is just carefully cut out these little phones. Always falling for the wrong guy. One down, three more to go. So now that we have these little phones printed out, I'm just going to scooch that to the side. And then I'm going to grab some cardstock. This is a pretty thick cardstock. It's actually, you know what, it's kind of not. But basically the thicker cardstock, the better because the less layers you'll have to glue together. But I'm just using this white cardstock and a glue stick. And then I basically just take the back of the phone, make sure to get lots of glue on there, and then I just glue that to the cardstock. Now I'm just gonna repeat that with the other one here. And then I cut those out. I take the back of the phones and I glue them once again on the cardstock. Cut them out again. And then I basically just repeat this process until they have the right thickness. For me, I did five layers of cardstock, but it really does depend on the thickness of your cardstock. Um, but for me, five layers was perfect. Now, because I want the sides of the phone to be the same color as the back of the phone, the white one, I already used white cardstock, so I'm just gonna leave that as is. But for the navy blue, as you can see, the sides are white and I want them to match. So what I'm gonna do is mix together some acrylic paints to make a matching color for the sides of the phone. That was way too much. You guys really don't need that much paint for this. I use way too much. It's hard to control sometimes when it's coming out of these big bottles. But yeah, you only need the smallest amount of paint for this really. So for me, I'm just mixing some black with blue to try to get that navy blue color. Once I have the color very similar to the one on the back of the phone, I just take, I just take a toothpick and carefully put that color on the sides. Being careful not to get any on the back here. So now the edge is the same color as the phone. And I think I did a really good job of matching that color. You can barely tell that it's different. So now what I'm going to do is grab the screens we cut out. It doesn't really matter which phone has which screen. Um, personally, I'm going to give this um, customized one or like the one that is actually my own. I'm gonna pair this one with the white phone and then the default screen with the navy blue one. And then I basically just grab my handy dandy glue stick again and glue the screen to the back of the phone, making sure that it is going on the right way and not upside down. So now we've completed the base of the phone. Now you could definitely just leave the phone like this. I think they look really good at this point and you could definitely just leave them like this. But I actually like to take it a step further and grab Mod Podge. I have both matte and gloss Mod Podge. 
And I basically take some sticky tack and put it on the screen of the phone and then stick that down to a surface to keep it in place. And then I basically start by taking some matte Mod Podge and I put a small amount on the back of the phones. I use a toothpick to spread it out at the top. And then I take a piece of cardstock and basically scrape that Mod Podge across the whole back of the phone to create a nice even effect. I like to use the cardstock because it really helps it look nice and even. I've tried with a paintbrush or just by using the toothpick over the whole thing and this way is definitely the best. And then using a toothpick with more matte Mod Podge, I carefully put some matte Mod Podge on the sides of the phone. And then I just wait a good amount of time to let that fully dry. Once that's completely dry, I now take the sticky tack and put it on the back side. And then I take some of my gloss Mod Podge and put some of that on the screen, just like how we did with the matte Mod Podge. And then once again, I take some cardstock and then just spread the Mod Podge evenly down the screen. And then I wait a good amount of time to let that dry as well. Then once they dry, the phones are all completed. As you can see, now the screen has a really nice shine to it and the back has a nice matte effect. And overall, it feels really good quality now, and you can just listen to the sound it makes. So personally, I would definitely recommend doing the extra step with the Mod Podge, because I think the overall effect is definitely worth it. And to actually place the little phones in the doll's hands, I just use a little bit of sticky tack, and then just stick the phone right into their hand. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. I really hope you liked today's craft. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Comment below if you're gonna give this a try and let me know how it turns out because I would love to know. Also guys, I just wanna quickly mention that I am so excited that we are so, so close to 100,000 subscribers. It's actually mind blowing and I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every single one of you guys. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. Before we do end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to Fantastic Dolls, May Soraya, and Lena's Life. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you want a shoutout, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DDSquad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shoutout in my next video. Thank you guys once again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you're gonna give this craft a try and let me know how it turns out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.